Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Destiny Raid Guide. So in this Raid Guide, I'm going to show you guys how to beat the Zamboni portion of the raid. That's actually quite easy. All you need to do is have one or two people distract the ads, use the, their supers on them, and just kind of get them away from the couple other teammates so that the other teammates can snipe out on the Zamboni. You have to destroy three parts of the Zamboni with a sniper rifle, which is why that special ammo spawns back there. So one turret will be on the left, one turret will be on the right, and once you have those two turrets down, the middle portion will open up. Once you shoot that a few more times, that will lock down the Zamboni, allowing you and your fire team to jump onto the Zamboni and ride it to the other side. That's all you actually have to do for the first half of this portion of the raid. It's quite easy once you get, to get it down at least and you have people distracting the ads. It's pretty easy. Once you do this portion, just hop on the Zamboni and ride it to the other side. So to start out the second portion of this guide, once you get to the other side, this is where it gets a little tricky. Now, you will need your entire six fire team to rush up at the top of this part of the raid. You and your whole fire team kind of need to get up there. It's best if one person has a super and starts clearing out enemies. And you also want to try to keep track of these mines as well and destroy as many of those as you possibly can. Now, once you get to the back, the first wave of enemies will spawn and you need to clear them out. Once the first wave of enemies is cleared out, three parts will drop. Now this is where it gets really tricky and you need to get coordinated as fast as possible. You need to have all of your teammates covering the people that will grab the parts. And there's two ways you can do this. Once you have the part for about 25 seconds, you will drop it because you will be exhausted. Now you have about 10 seconds in between when you can pick up a part and when you no longer can hold it. So you can either have another team member come up and just pick up the part and continue on. Or you can just set three people to stay with the same part the whole time while the other three distract the ads. That's the method me and my fire team used. We just had the same three carry the parts the whole way. It made things a little bit easier and a little less confusing for the people so that no one ever had to alternate the parts. Now once you finally make it to back to the ship with all three of the parts, you need to have a couple of members of your fire team jump onto the Zamboni and actually open up the ramp for you. So if you, your fire team members will need to go inside there, go to the bottom layer of the Zamboni and in the middle there will be a little contraption that they need to shoot in order to get the ramp back open. It will be right in the middle, just on the back side of the Zamboni on the inside. Just go onto the bottom portion of it and you will just start shooting the middle part of the Zamboni and it will finally open up this ramp, allowing the three parts to then make their way into the ship. Now there are three specific locations that these parts need to go onto on the Zamboni. Now if you do not do it fast enough, you will have the entire screen turn white. It will also cause your entire team to completely wipe, so you will have to start back over from the beginning. So if you take the warhead, that piece goes right here onto the left middle. That part goes right here where you'll see my pair to put it in right now. This part goes right here. The warhead part goes right there. There's another part that goes right up to the top of the ramp at the right. And then the final part, the engine part, goes here on the back left. As you see, my friend kind of put it in. My screen starts to turn white, but luckily we didn't completely wipe yet and we were able to continue on to the next portion. So that's pretty much all it was for this part of the raid. Once you're done, you can just jump down off this cliff. Now, if you want to stay tuned, I will also show you where you can find a SIVA cluster in the next portion of the raid as well. So there's a little hidden jumping puzzle in the next portion. So just stay tuned for another minute, and I will show you guys where you can actually find another hidden SIVA cluster location. So in the very next portion of the raid, you will be in what looks to be like a little library for the SIVA. And now right when you enter in, there will be a little jumping puzzle underneath the ramp that you guys walk in on. So it is a little difficult on the Warlock, I'm not going to lie, this took me about 10 to 15 trials on my Warlock. But for the Hunters and some other characters, this is actually quite easy to do. There's only three jumps you have to make, and then at the last jump, you will find a dormant SIVA cluster in the back, allowing you to pick up another cluster, which is quite nice. So hopefully this guide helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're not already for future Destiny guides. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.